Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday. It's a busy day for me. I'm going to do a lot of filming. I'm going to be in and out of the house. And I thought I'd bring you along with me to hang out. Here is um, the eye update. My thing is sinking down in my eye, but it is getting better. It's like completely cleared up on the top, and now it's just kind of like over in this area. I can't help it. It's to the point where even when my eye is just like normal open, you can kind of see it. I put on my little DIY lash extension things so that I could, because they're they go underneath my lash line so I'm like trying to add a little bit of a distraction but yeah the game plan for today is to film a sit down video right now that I'm like not even fully prepared for but we're gonna get there possibly film a reel I'm not 100% sure like an Instagram reel um head to the thrift store film a thrifting video come home wash all that stuff show the haul for that video try it on etc and then this afternoon I have a nail appointment I might actually not even have time before my I actually I've got to figure that out I may need to do my nail appointment before I come home um, but anyways then I have to edit a reel like another Instagram reel and then we have to pack because tomorrow we're actually leaving for Laguna Beach we're gonna do a little weekend getaway for our anniversary our seven year dating anniversary which is crazy it's gone by so fast we've been friends for like going on 15 years and dating for seven so it's crazy but anyways um in the meantime i have a lot to do and you know how i like to yap i've been seeing all of the memes floating around like i'm a certified yapper all i do is yap all day long i am the president of yap island uh, so you know how i love to chat but anyways okay I have got to get freaking going because I need to like knock out this video, get ready and leave. Hopefully in the next like 30 minutes, it's probably going to be longer. So let's try. I was just about to say you're never going to believe this, but you're 100% going to believe this. It is almost two hours later. <laughs> Uh, I basically am, for a sneak peek, I'm doing a video on my main channel where I react and sort of like rank and roast my old fashion eras. So I was going through my old hard drives from years past and then I went down a rabbit hole where I was just like gathering all these photos and then I was like having to organize them and then there were certain ones with other people in them so either I had to crop them or like put an emoji on people's faces and now I'm trying to find like a website that you're able to do the tier lists and all of the files are like too big and I'm just like ah. so I've literally been sitting here for two hours for no reason like I should have been long gone doing other things by now so I have just wasted two hours of my precious time and now I'm like I feel like I'm in too deep like I've got to just see it through I don't know do you ever do that with like a task or you get off task or whatever and you know that like it just needs you need to stop like you need to stop, you need to put it away, you need to do something else. And like, I've been so determined. I could have been done filming my thrifting video by now. And I, instead I've just been sitting here like, okay, mm, like moving stuff around and uh, I'm so frustrated with myself. It's okay. It's fine, no worries, but man, what a dummy. I'm just sitting here like, God, I could have done so many more things with my time over the last two hours, but it's okay. Drew was like, are you? filming because he heard me in here but I was just silent for the last two hours. Anywho, I'm going to make some lunch now because I'm starving. I've been sitting here for so long and then we will regroup and yes when I'm filming a main channel video you can almost 99.9% .9 guarantee that I'm wearing like a cute top on top and then like pajama pants or sweatpants on the bottom but anyway all right I'm gonna force myself to walk away from this. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more and then pick it back up another day. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a mess. All right, would you believe me if I told you it was 2 p.m.? Because it is. Uh, that video took, le anyway, <laughs> we got it done. It's all good. We are gonna head out and get our nails done because I had to push back my appointment that I made this morning because I'm already running late. And I'm going to be late for this one if I don't leave in the next like five minutes. So I'm gonna go get my nails done. And then if I have enough time, I'm gonna ch attempt to film a thrifting video. So I'm gonna go out and do that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm literally wearing sandals because I, you know, want to have my feet be easily accessible. And then I'm going to bring some boots to take with me. So wish me luck because today I ended up being so chaotic for literally no reason. And I have a really bad headache. And there's Drew with his cute haircut. <laughs> All right, let's do this. While 
I have a few minutes in the car. I've been stuck in traffic up on Sunset Boulevard, but um, I kind of wanted to like chat about a situation that I feel like a lot of us probably face, especially if you're a people pleaser like me, where um, basically I had to send an email that scared me. <laughs> I had to send an email that was direct, uh, slightly confrontational if you will, like obviously kind, but um, just like very pointed and just like, hey, here's what's happening, like, um, like in a business scenario. And it scared the hell out of me to send an email like that. I'm sure a lot of people do it just day to day for their job, but I don't have to send too many emails like that, I would say. And so it just like scares me so much. And I was so proud of myself for standing up for myself and just being like, yeah, no, this isn't working for me. It just made me feel so proud of myself. And I was just like, hell yeah. And I have this weird thing, and I know a lot of us do, where I'm afraid to be too much. I'm afraid to be too loud, too difficult, too saturated in personality, too opinionated, too whatever. And I'm constantly having to whittle myself down to be small, right? Um, I've done that my whole life because I've had teachers, friends, friends, parents, coworkers, managers, whoever, always tell me that I'm too much. And then you meet people like Drew and people in my family and stuff like that, friends of mine that are like, you're not too much for me. And it makes you realize that you're not too much, that you need to surround yourself with other people who appreciate your expansiveness and like do you know what i'm saying anyways i watched a reel from florence gibbon about this and she talked about how like sometimes you have to leave certain situations because you you know to that person you're too much but you should just keep being too much keep being more honestly keep being more and like if i had a daughter or a child in general that's what i would tell them i'd be like you're never too much for anyone um other people just need to go find less you know i've always even back when you know we had rats in our roof and our walls and our ceilings and our under our bathtubs and everywhere um when we lived in an apartment complex where people were partying during the pandemic until five in the morning and djing right outside of our bedroom window and playing instruments outside and being so disrespectful like my biggest fear in all of that was being difficult was being the difficult neighbor to be like hey would you mind turning it down like when I would I asked I think two different times for my old neighbors to turn it their music down and I was apologizing to them as I was asking like sorry <laughs> what and I was just like why am I so concerned with being nice or being perceived as nice to these people who are not considering me at all you know what I mean? Is this a parking spot? So anyways, I just wanted to send that little tidbit into the universe, out into the atmosphere of just like, you're not too much, you're not too difficult, and just keep being difficult. <laughs> keep speaking your mind, keep showing up and being loud and being opinionated and being bossy and being all of those things because the world needs that. That gives other women and other people permission to do the same, you know? I'm trying to find a parking spot at the nail salon if you couldn't tell, I'm, I'm circling. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say just before I get my nails done because I it's been on my mind and I feel like it's an important thing that I wish I was taught more when I was younger that, you know, you're not too much, you're not too much at all and you just keep being exactly how you are because you're perfect and that's all okay i'm gonna go get my nails done goodbye all right made it back home went for some red nails you can never go wrong when i don't know what i'm gonna do i either do red or white so Went with red, looking super cute, super fresh. I changed into my pajamas, like I literally have my pajama top on that I'm gonna wear when I self-tan later, um, right before bed. And I think I'm gonna get a head start on packing because I didn't end up going to the thrift store. The day got away from me. So anyway, I'm gonna try to pack as light as possible. We're gonna be gone for two nights. So here is the tentative plan. We're gonna get in tomorrow, which is Saturday, like afternoon-ish. So I'll need something to wear to dinner tomorrow night for like a little date night. And then I'll need something to wear Sunday morning. I think we're gonna do a hike. And then Sunday, like daytime. And then either something Sunday night 
or beach clothes to wear that we haven't decided if we're gonna like go out Sunday night or if we're gonna do like a beach at sunset type of thing. I mean, either way, we'll have to get food. So something for that. And then Monday, before we come back to LA, while we're in Orange County, we're gonna hit up Disneyland. So we're gonna make sure we have all of the outfit components that we need. So first things first, tomorrow night, I have a date night. The only thing is, it's supposed to be kind of chilly. And it's very, very windy. So I'll probably need like pants, a cute little sweater, and then like a jacket. Also, where we're staying, I've actually had these little cottages saved for a really long time. So obviously you'll get the full rundown tomorrow um, or in the next vlog when we get there. But they're like these cute little cottages and I'm pretty sure they're like walking distance from some stuff, at least from like coffee and things like that. So we'll see, but anyway, okay. Um, I mean, I could wear my cute little, I mean, we thrifted this in Tokyo. I don't know if Drew will want to wear this, but this is definitely an option. I also have my Princess Diana sweater that I wore in the last vlog. I like that one a lot. I definitely think like a sweater and then a jacket will be the way to go, even though I really desperately want to wear a dress. That might be okay for like daytime, um, because the high is only like 65, I think, both days, but it's gonna be like fully sunny, or it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm gonna take another look at the weather just to be sure, and then we'll throw some stuff together and see what happens. Pack with me. I'm gonna actually try to pack with you because I feel like in all the other vlogs, I'm like, pack with me, and then it's two hours later, and I'm like, I couldn't do it anymore. I packed by myself, so we'll see. Okay, let's check it out. Laguna Beach, ooh. The weather did change a little bit. It looks like it now might be cloudy tomorrow. Okay. Didn't say that this morning when we booked the damn thing, but of course, you know, that's Southern California. It's gonna change. So, okay, it's gonna be pants weather. As much as I don't want to admit it, it will. So we're gonna need pants. Any excuse I have to not wear pants is like <laughs> ideal for me, but I could do a long skirt possibly, but yeah, I'm gonna need some, some coverage. First things first, what tops do I want to wear? I would love to wear this one because it's really, really cute. So this could be like the nighttime thing. I definitely want to wear this cute skirt that I haven't even gotten to wear yet. It's from ASOS. It's freaking adorable. It's not the warmest thing, but I think during the day it'll obviously be fine. So we'll do that and like a little sweater to go with it, like a little cardigan. I have this vintage Faded Glory one. I got this from Shop Penny, who is an amazing plus size, but like, Bundle curator, I think is what it's called. We'll do those two together. That would be cute. Actually, that could even be like a dinner moment with a little, um, like a leather jacket over top. Tomorrow night, we're gonna do like a, um, like a dinner situation and then we're gonna get some drinks at the rooftop lounge, which is, I've been there before. I've vlogged it like many, many years ago, but um, it's on top of a really old hotel in Laguna Beach. And it's also where Lauren and Jason had their first date on Laguna Beach, if you know, you know. Every time I go there, I talk about it. So we're gonna go up there. That'll be cute and romantic. This is probably really boring. So let me decide on all this stuff and then we will reconvene and I'll show you what we got. Okay, it is in fact, hours later, we're not gonna talk about my hair. We made some delicious dinner. We did like a bruschetta chicken, which is like an old, I, I just realized I have my Ms. Line in because it's like 9 p.m. We're going to bed soon. It's like an old um, HelloFresh recipe that we used to make and it's delicious. I'll make it on a vlog sometime. Um, it's so good. And then we've been watching Last Tango in Halifax as our like dinner time show some days when there's not like an Abbott Elementary and it's gotten so juicy that we watched two episodes. So that's what we were doing. And now it is back to packing. So I actually think I am packing semi reasonably for this trip. We're gone for two days, but we're doing like quite a bit. Here's what we've got. I've got some clothes drying here in the background. Don't worry about that. So I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be warm enough for a sweater. I don't really know. If it's cloudy, it'll be sweater weather for sure. So I've got this oversized sweater that I love from, is it from Hollister? Yes, this is from Hollister. I love it. I worked with them back in like, I think October. It's so cute. And then my favorite comfy good American jeans. I freaking love these jeans. So these will just be nice, comfy, cozy. I'm picturing this with like a cute little pair of glasses and maybe like my Birkenstocks, my fake Birks. And then I'm gonna try to maximize the stuff that I bring. So I'm gonna rewear these jeans on Sunday and then I'm gonna wear this thrifted shirt. I think I got this. I don't actually remember where I got this. It's so cute to me. It has a little cutout in the front and I just love wearing this. So 
these two together with my Converse. My Converse are really the only other shoes I'm bringing. And then Sunday morning, before all that, we're going on a hike. So I have my Lululemons, my girlfriend collective bra, a nice little sweatshirt to bring just in case it's chilly. And then I'll just hike in my Converse, I guess. Depending on where we go, it should be fine. I have my Disney outfit for Monday. So I have my bike shorts, cause it is supposed to be kind of hot on Monday, but it's chilly in the morning. So I have my Hollister sweatshirt. I freaking love this thing. I got my ears that I got at Tokyo Disneyland in like 2018. And then my, not new, but it's new. Again, if you watched my main channel video where I talked about my recent thrift haul, I had this exact vintage shirt it had way too many holes in it. It was like disintegrating. And so I had to get rid of it and I found another one. I know they make these new, but it's not the same as vintage. So I found another vintage one. It's so, so comfortable. It's like kind of long as well. And then for my like nights out, I think I showed this already, but I'm just gonna bring my one leather jacket. I may end up bringing my like bomber one. I prefer the look of this one with this, but the comfort of the other ones are better. So we'll see. And then I have this old Navy shirt. I think I showed this in a vlog when I did my um, fitting room video there like a couple weeks ago, week ago or so. I got this shirt and it's just like a nice halter and then it has a built-in shelf bra so I don't have to wear a bra. And then I got some black trousers to wear. So we got a little black on black on black moment with just my Converse, cause who cares? And then finally, what I showed earlier, the red skirt from ASOS and then the vintage sweater. And that's it, I think I'm good. I'm gonna pack just one pair of pajamas, obviously, grab a couple pairs of underwear and my toiletries. And I think we're good. Is this overpacking? To me, this is like miraculous. So if this is overpacking to you, that's absolutely fine. But for me, I'm quite proud. So let's fold all this up and put it in a nice little duffel bag. Cause I'm not even bringing a suitcase. Who am I? I'm gonna grab this Adidas duffel bag that I stole from my dad about a decade ago and never gave back. Actually, way more than a decade ago. This thing is so old, but it fits everything and I love it. All right. Here we have it. Is this slightly falling apart? Yes. Does it matter? No. So we'll put Monday in there last since that's the last thing we'll be doing. Monday, Sunday night on top of that. Sunday daytime, Sunday morning, and then Saturday night at the top. Cute. And then I'll just throw like a curling iron and some toiletries and underwear and stuff in here. Let me grab those. Got my makeup bag. I'm gonna put my toiletries in there as well. I have my bra that I'm gonna sleep in, my three clean pairs of socks, my three clean pairs of underwear, my one pair of jammies. I'm gonna put my toiletries in this bag along with, I actually have like just a separate travel makeup bag with like smaller makeup products. So I'll put my toiletries in here too. All right, let's see what we got here. First, I'm gonna bring my little, I got this Ana Luisa bag when Alexa released her um, necklace with them in like 2020, I think, 2021. And I use it to travel with my jewelry. So I'm gonna bring a couple little necklaces. Don't know if I'm gonna wear these or not, but they're good to have. I'll bring the earrings that I probably have on. I'll bring some silver just in case. And that'll be plenty with those two. So the accessories will go in there. On one side, I'm gonna have makeup of this makeup bag. And then on the other side, I'll do like my toiletries and accessories and things like that. Okay, we've got a razor. We've got some hair ties just in case. Actually, I need to put more in there because Drew's niece ended up. <laughs> she was like, every day that I was there, she was like, will you do a slicked back ponytail? which is so sweet because she wanted her hair to look like mine. These are the best um, clear elastics, by the way. I don't know, Hoyles or something like that. I don't know how to say it, but I um, got these on Amazon. And I mean, they're gonna last me the rest of my life, honestly. We'll do those, we'll do a couple of hair ties. I'm actually just gonna put them all in this little bag. Is all of this stuff necessary? No, but I've got the time, so why not? Oh, my face wash is actually in the shower. Remind me in a future vlog to talk about the skincare that I switched to. I'm using like basically nothing and I feel like it's hopefully starting to help my rosacea. Got a toothbrush, some toothpaste, Sensodyne girlies, rise up, floss picks, and q-tips. I got my travel perfume. This is South Pacific Sandalwood Perfume Oil by Nest. I got this from Anthropology. Oh, it smells so good, I love it. Got some dry shampoo. This is the ACV dry shampoo powder by 
DP Hue. I just like it for traveling. Got some travel deodorant. And then I'm gonna bring a bit of gel just so that I have it for a slick back day. I don't have a tool to use this, so I guess I'll just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, sure, that works. I just have this little travel. This was a moisturizer, I think. So there we go. Throw my gel in there. I'll bring my little slicky brush. Oh, I might bring a couple little um, makeup remover towels. And then I'm good to go. Moisturizer, thank you for reminding me. And there we have it. My life is in this thing. So let's pack this up. And I think we're in a pretty good spot. And that's gonna fit perfectly in this little side pocket. And then that's all. Beautiful. Weekend trip done. I can't believe how easy that was, question mark. This is in fact probably the most boring thing <laughs> you've watched today and I do apologize for that. They got someone. Let's find out who it is. Someone got got. As we were. This is my exciting Friday night, so thanks for hanging out with me while I do it. It's 9.37 and I am like quite literally about to crawl into bed. I'm gonna tan before I go to bed. And then we're gonna have a nice little coffee date tomorrow. And then begins our anniversary weekend. I can't wait. <laughs> Drew just killed a spider. Good morning. It is the next day. It is Saturday morning and we're headed off on our little coffee walk. It's kind of chilly, dare I say. So that's very exciting, um, but it's also sunny. So I brought some sunglasses. Where are they? These were a pair of sunglasses I bought for myself back in like 2021 and somehow Okay, first they all, ended up in someone no, else's no, no, drawer. No. First of all, they were yours originally. Okay, uh -huh. that is true. Yeah. Except not that pair because I lost the pair on the Matterhorn. Yeah, that's true. And then you bought me another pair. So these are your. I really like them so much and then I scratched the shit out of them. And you're like, oh, let me buy you another pair. And those are them. So, like I said. <laughs> those are mine. <laughs> okay, let's go get some coffee. I have a nice little uh, cozy, comfy outfit on. It's messy, there's laundry happening. That's just life. Um, we have cute little dirty hair bun. We have Old Navy fleece, or Sherpa, whatever it's called. There is something on the lens. We have Target leggings, and we have Converse. All right, oh, and Amazon sunglasses. Let's go. Okay, made it back home, stopped off and got some bagels, and then I made myself a nice little smoothie. And now, I'm gonna take a shower and we're gonna get ready to go head to Laguna Beach. I'm so excited. So the next vlog you see will be little bits and pieces of our anniversary trip. It's gonna be so nice. Obviously, most of it's gonna be off camera, but you know, thought I would share a little bit. So that'll be fun. And yeah, I just feel like uh, it's unfortunate that um, it is actually true that if you go outside, and you get some exercise, and you get some vitamin D, and you move your body that you actually feel better. Um, it's unfortunate, but it is true, and I feel great. So I had like a really weird day yesterday, like I had a headache all day, and I'm feeling much better. I'm just feeling much, much better. I've actually, um, I've been having a little bit of like health anxiety lately. Um, every little issue that's happening, like, you know, my ear being plugged up, my eye getting the blood vessel popped or whatever, it, I start spiraling and I think that something more serious is going on and there's nothing wrong with that at all um, You know, it's good to stay vigilant I guess and go to the doctor when you need to but um, I convinced myself that I actually had a brain tumor for the last like two days It's a whole thing if you have health anxiety you understand but um, I have always done this my entire life I have spiraled about my health and thought that something more serious is going on or been more paranoid that something more serious is going on and it's exhausting it's not fun um, it's not something I talk about super often because I do try to keep it like relatively positive even though you know I think it's important to be real but yeah I've I've just been like really spiraling I mean I'm laughing now because home humor is how I cope with things but I was like thinking I was gonna die over the last couple of days. And it's just like, 
that's not the move. Um, and now today I don't feel that way. <laughs> I feel like hopeful and happy and the sun is shining and I'm, you know, very feeling very positive. So that's good. So if you're also going through that, maybe I'll talk about it more in depth in a future vlog. But if you're also going through that, um, I'm sending you my love and you're going to be okay. So anywho, I am going to jump in the shower. We're going to hit the road, maybe grab some lunch and then check into our cute little Airbnb, which I'm so excited to show you in the next vlog. So thanks for hanging out with me on this very boring vlog. Anything else to add? Um, no, I just like talking. So <laughs> I'll just continue this into the next vlog and I'll see you very soon.